Welcome! In a previous video, I unboxed and set up this Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro 3D printer. And if you want to see that video and my other videos on this, I'll put a link below to my playlist. Now, when I set that up, this had a wobble to it. So you can see here, so either the front or back foot is up. So in order to try and fix that, I'm going to loosen the bolts on the side. So there are four here and four over here. And then I'll try and shift this down and I'll tighten them back up and see if we still have that wobble. So the hex key size on that is four millimeters. Okay, they're all loose. And that seems to have gotten rid of the wobble. Now this is just loose right now. Now I can almost push down on it a little bit. So I'm going to tighten it back up. Now another thing I can do, and I think I might do, is I'm just going to put this wrench under this corner, and then I'll gently press down on these corners. Now I'll take this out. and that helped it. So by lifting this up, that raised both of these up so I could press them down. And then when I took this out, it was making it so these were both forced down, and then this one fell, and I think they're all good now. So I'm going to tighten it down. Okay, so this side is tight. See if my wobble exists. Feels good. Okay, everything's tight. Let's try this again. So that's much better. Now you can only get this as flat as the surface it's on. And my bench here is pretty flat. It's obviously not some calibrated surface. Of course, if then you put it on a bench or a table that's not flat, it's not going to make a huge difference. Now, if you want a very flat surface, something like a granite countertop would be about as good as you're going to get in a home for doing that. So you could put this on your granite, get it all flattened out and lock it down. So that likely changed the geometry of all this. So I'm going to re-level the bed. So I hadn't seen anyone doing this with the Neptune 4, but I did read some forum posts where people had done this with the three. So I thought I'd tried on this printer. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.